Well, hey everybody, this is Buddy. Um, look at this crack in this wall. This is at Burwood Beach. It, to me, it looks like uh, it's getting way bigger. It comes all the way down to there. There's other places that seems like it, they patched on it, but this is, this could actually literally break off and change the whole look of everything. But maybe somebody will get out here and fix it. But uh, today is the 22nd of January. We have had some really rainy weather here in Jamaica. I haven't been able to kite for a couple of weeks. It looks like I might can kite today. It just depends on when the wind decides to come in. Um, it's almost 10 o'clock right now and there's not near enough wind to kite but hopefully by 1 or 2 o'clock it will be able to kite but um, I've seen some really cool videos on YouTube lately so it made me want to like dig, dig deeper into these mysteries and these understandings that Intuitively, uh, since I woke up August the 17th, 2003, I've, I've literally been living this. And it's the awakening, and it's in every cell of my body. So, it's cool to hear young people uh, coming online, putting this stuff together. They're finding uh, the law of attraction. They're finding that uh, there's a greater spiritual mystery to all of the religions. And they have beautiful ways of talking and telling and, and actually they're becoming great teachers within themselves. But I don't want to name no names. I, I may put some links in the description box that will show you some of the, the people that I've been watching that have really cool ways of explaining things beautifully. Somebody asked me about the law of attraction. What did I really believe about it? Well, I know in my life that it's real. I've seen it happen. And now would it have happened if I didn't know anything about the law of attraction? No, it, I, I was living in a life where I didn't know before August the 17th, 2003. That buddy is totally different than this, this being that I am now. And I say that and I, I look back at how that other buddy, and for example, when the alarm clock went off, what did he do? Well, he immediately jumped out of bed, you know? So, I don't jump out of bed anymore. I take my time awakening in the day. Like, I lay there. I barely open an eye, barely open two eyes. I move my hand. I move my fingers, move my toes. My eyes aren't even open yet. I start going into gratitude. I start being grateful for the ability to feel my feet. The ability to feel the bed, the, my pillow. And then I move my attention and my focus to my breathing. And at that time, I can actually either go back to sleep and a soundful rest and have a download from what spirit wants me to feel and see without my thoughts being in the way. I don't have no plan for the day no plan for what I'm even going to eat or do that day. So simplicity in my life is one thing. No drama in my life is another. That's what comes when your mind becomes still and you actually start seeking the truth because that's part of, of my journey and my awakening. Is the first thing I wanted to do is know why. <laughs> why was... I different in the preceding months to my awakening. I had been depressed and I wanted to know 
what really was the thing that made me depressed? Well, instantly, on the August the 17th awakening day, 2003, I realized that my mind had become completely still. And I realized that the only thing that I had ever had as an adversary to this that I am is my thoughts. And I realized that it's only my thoughts that are even creating this reality that I'm in. Most people hate it when I go there. They don't want to hear that. They don't want me to talk about the fact that none of this that we see has any meaning or any matter or any real understanding of what is reality. We use everything that we see to either guide us to truth or keep us from truth. I choose to believe that there's a total new way of being in awakening. So I started really fast seeking truth. And I, I come from a place in Mississippi, Mississippi Delta, that is is the Bible Belt. It's uh, I, so all I knew was what I had been taught in Sunday school. But I do even know that I actually questioned pretty much all of it you know, as a little boy. And a lot of times it got me in trouble at church, but hey. My mind really opened up to asking good questions. And I kept finding answers. Now they might not be your answers, but they're mine. So, it's a vast can of worms when one person awakens and starts seeking truth. My YouTube channel, my the Buddha from Mississippi blog page, is blowing up. I'm looking at the demographics of who's finding me and what pages they're looking at, what videos they're looking at, and I'm finding that it's a lot more younger people that are coming to my, my I call it my stuff on, on the internet. It's virtual library that I've been building for years and years. I got a lot of videos up and I got a lot of blog pages, but these people are finding their understanding of what they need to hear at the time, their truth. And hopefully they'll log and blog and make their footprints of how they woke for the next person or the next generation. Well, that's enough said. I'm, I'm rambling on. But I do want to I do want to say this. The law of attraction is very real. It works. I'm not standing where the sun is in, in good, good light, but yeah. Uh, how can I say what I want to say? Well, if you're wanting to understand Use the law of attraction for your understanding. And secondly, use the law of attraction to change the thing that you can change. The only thing in the world that we can change is the way we think about the world. The way we think about our atoms, our cells, our body. We have a body image. We have a body consciousness. We have the ability to speak life to our atoms or speak sickness or death to our atoms. I encourage everyone to realize that as soon as you wake up in the morning, don't jump up out of bed. There's nothing that's more important than talking to your body, talking to your cells, your DNA. Visualizing what it is that you really want in life and how you want to have your being in the future. 
and we are all able to do this from the youngest to the oldest you can only revert your DNA so far but if you start this at any age you will increase your ability to live a vibrant life a victorious life in time whether time is linear or not it has to start with I, I believe in my life it starts with the way I wake up in the mornings and I'm giving that to you to think about and ponder but don't believe anything I've said or anything that my blog says or anything my videos say look it up for yourself do your own research all right talk to you later